Hey guys, welcome to a very special English commentary done by Diggity. This is uh, actually a, uh, a prelude to the World Cyber Games. Uh, basically, thank you, special thanks to Ted Zio, by the way, for getting me this replay. This is a match between Nani and Apathetic, and basically uh, Nani asked for some help uh, to, to prepare for the World Cyber Games and posted on TeamLiquid.net. And uh, this guy right here, Apathetic, answered the call. Unfortunately, what Nani does not know is he does not realize that Apathetic is in fact Midian, who is a, a pro player who's retired from the UK and uh, a very good player. So while Nani's, uh, I think, going to be kind of screwing around and going a variety of units uh, just to kind of prepare for the World Cyber Games, uh, <laughs> Midian is going to smurf him and uh, just kind of throw everything at him. Uh, just to give you kind of the overview, I have this entire map revealed just to kind of give a, a overlook of the map if you aren't familiar with it. This is Gaia, and uh, as you can see there's a single ramp which leads to a natural expansion here that has a gas which is kind of protected by a bridge. There's another expansion right here and you can see that's kind of mirrored across the map uh, across the board. So here's basically the other spawn points. Here's at the 12 o'clock spawn point which you saw at the very beginning there, a 6 o'clock spawn point, and, uh, and here we have Midian <clears throat> at the other spawn point and as you can see uh, mirrored across and the really the, I, I think the thing that's really important here is you have to keep in mind if you see me pointing on the mini map this central area is very important because uh, if a player uh, can force into the central area you can basically send an attack to any area uh, subsequently from there so if you control the middle you really control the map uh, save a lot of a lot of drop chips and I don't see that happening uh, in a Protoss versus Zerg matchup so it looks like a gateway going down for Nani early and also an assimilator so he's going for a pretty fast tech build where Apathetic uh, looks like he's going to do the standard second hive and uh, interestingly enough it looks like he's putting that second hive down right inside his base that's a little unusual usually you see Zerg players uh, take the expansion at the natural location instead of going uh, basically inside their base get a little bit of that extra resource early this is a little more conservative he wants to be uh, producing troops inside his base just in case Nani goes for uh, I guess an early aggressive attack build Nani's probe in the meantime going out scouting and uh, an interesting bluff looks like there are pylons being built in the lower right hand corner of Nani's base which suggests he's going to try to go hidden tech I'm not sure if Midian went random here uh, or if he knows that Midian's playing Zerg, a spawning pool and an extractor going down for Midian now so he's uh, going to do a pretty fast tech build and, and it looks like uh, Nani very quickly going across the Overlord, he realizes this is Midian's base. We'll see what he decides to, basically what he'll scout out here. And I'm kind of curious about this pylon. Looks like a cybernetics core is going down now. Uh, very interesting maneuver. And it looks like Midian canceled his extractor. He's in fact going to go for a third hatchery build. He's going to scoot around uh, the probe there that Nani sent. And, and Nani's just trying to rush down to see if he can block this hatchery from going up. Uh, isn't going to be able to, it looks like. Instead, he's going to come back in and basically see this three hatchery build and Zergling very quickly being produced and this is interesting I would expect uh, in a few seconds here as you can see this overlord right here very quickly is going to be scooting down uh, into Nani's base he has this front door block so drones not going to be able to get in uh, but once the cybernetic core co comes in let's see if he decides to build a dragoon and uh, if he can produce a dragoon quickly enough basically what he can do is, is he can kind of uh, lock Midian out of his base and basically go uh, tech without uh, kind of any visualization. It looks like an early Stargate going down for Nani, so uh, in the meantime, uh, Nani just trying to keep his probe alive, uh, but looks like it did a very good job skirting there, but now he's put, he's trapped in a corner. Uh, basically can be kind of moved back out and yeah, it ends up dying there. Uh, let's see, we'll have to see what Midian decides to do from here. He is producing uh, a lot of gas here. And interesting enough, he's going to lose this Overlord, so that might set him back a little bit. Uh, not too much, but he also looks like he has another second Overlord uh, in approach, and that could be very dangerous with this Stargate going up. And a Citadel of a Dune going down, so he's going to go uh, either Dark Templar or just Standard Templar fairly quickly, and considering he's going with that gateway, we can assume uh, that, that he's going to go a Corsair Dark Templar sort of build. And uh, that Dragoon's going to be able to take that Overlord out, but the question is, is will he be able to take that Overlord out before it comes down and before it sees uh, this tech here and uh, did manage to get that overlord I don't think it managed to get that spot and that Corsair is underway and a Hydralis Den uh, as you can see a little bit behind on Sino but a Hydralis Den coming in for Midian and uh, Midian in the meantime has is at full production at a secondary uh, interesting Dragoon placement for Nani basically uh, kind of uh, hitting any troops that come in along this corner. Let me take off the map reveal so you can kind of see. Uh, going to come in across this corner and the three zealots there posted at the ramp basically to block any income forces. And here comes this Corsair. Uh, 
And this is going to be very close between this Overlord and this Corsair. He also has that Zergling posted out just to see if any forces come out, and just barely misses that Overlord. That could have been actually put Minion uh, severely back early, and we'll see if Hydralisks are produced in time. Going very quickly into Lair, uh, very interesting, going very fast Lair tech. But it looks like he is going to have a couple, uh, basically going to get these Hydralisks in just in time uh, for that for that Corsair harass. And let's see if more Corsair, interestingly enough, it doesn't look like Nani is producing any more Corsairs. Uh, so he, he's putting down that second gateway. So my guess is, is in a few seconds here, he's going to go for his secondary. This Overlord extremely vulnerable still. We'll see if this Corsair uh, comes back around to kill it. I don't know if it's been spotted or not. Extractor going down uh, for Midian. I'm kind of curious what he's going to go as far as tech next. My guess is pretty standard Spire build. And uh, Minion, uh, looks like Nani is actually coming up building a pylon. He doesn't have enough resources for Nexus yet, but that really that, that pylon kind of suggests that he's going to build some cannons uh, at his front door. And now that Overlord getting caught uh, out of position. And a, a decent amount of force is coming up, a couple lings. And I think what Midian's realizing at this point, he just saw that decent sized force. He doesn't want Nani pushing up with that force. He sent these lings to kind of delay to slow down the forces that are coming up. In the meantime, he's going to get some sunken colonies down just in case they do decide to push up. Uh, it doesn't look like a forge is down yet, but I would expect to see that in a couple seconds. And here we go. Nani's going to start pushing out of his base. Uh, Midian's just going to try to slow him down with these lings so he can get sunken colonies up uh, basically enough to fight up the forces. Uh, <clears throat> taking down two overlords, I think Midian or Nani thinks he's got a bit of a, a psi advantage. Uh, these Lings doing a decent job of slowing these zealots down and uh, bringing this Corsair around basically to do some scouting at the front door. And a second, uh, third sunken colony going up. It looks like Nani Singh uh, is going to try to get that uh, overlord out of position, a, a single uh, Hydralis pulling it off in the meantime. Uh, moving all the drones to the top of the base just in case, but it doesn't look like Nani's going to commit seeing those three sunken colonies down. And interestingly enough, it looks like Lurker Tech going up. I didn't see a Spire down, but so it looks like uh, Lurkers for Midian. And in the meantime, Dark Templar Archive going up, and there's the Forge. So as soon as that Forge is up, let's see if, how many cannons uh, Nexus is going up now. So we're going to plop down a, a couple of cannons. So uh, that's going to be difficult for Midian because cannons, obviously detectors, uh, so he's not going to be able to do a full push with those Lurkers. He's also getting up a Spire now. Uh, but looks like he's got a, well got a couple lurkers developing here about two so I'm gonna it'll be interesting to see what he does with these two lurkers still a very large force out uh, for Nani but Nani's gonna be somewhat locked in his base with those lurkers out there but he does have these dark templars so he can uh, basically he can produce dark templar actually it looks like he's going with standard templar instead of dark templar he's gonna get them out early so he can build up a lot of psi and basically go psi storm in the long run uh, but after that with this corsair and it looks like wow Midian took uh, an expansion over here to the right hand corner and that's a little that's a little uh, kind of not suicidal but that could spread him very thin especially with this Corsair out and Dark Templar on the way uh, he's got to keep this Overlord in position here and it doesn't look like he has any forces if if Nani spots that out he could take it out uh, fairly easily in my opinion these Zerglings out here just kind of to defend the Overlords as they come into position uh, but this Corsair is spotting out what's happening here and we'll see what Midian does there in the meantime that that Forge going for that melee upgrade and uh, it looks like Evolution Chamber is going down for for uh, Midian, I should say, Nani getting the uh, the Forge melee upgrade, and that's that's really clever. I like that. Midian is uh, attacking Nani's uh, gas, and that's going to be a, a big cost early. Uh, basically, Nani is trying to get as much gas as possible out of this in the meantime. But uh, basically, he's on a, a very high cost build, and he's going to put this uh, Midian's going to put this lurker here in the background uh, on this back ramp. So basically, uh, Nani can't come around and flank from behind. But it looks like uh, yeah, here's a couple Dark Templar out, uh, and as you can see, this Corsair uh, harassing that Overlord out of position. Uh, in the meantime, looks like Hive Tech is going up. That Queen's Nest uh, is down and uh, going melee and going carapace so he's going for more and it looks like an ultra zergling type build and uh, once this overlord's down and these uh, dark templar come out and oh man these zerglings are just going to be absolutely annihilated he, uh, Midian does not have any overlords over here he does not have any detectors defending these lings so it looks like he's going to lose all these lings but he is still man but again Nani doesn't have any mobile detectors either he's finally bringing these zerglings back and really he needs to be concerned about this area here he quickly needs to get an overlord here, or maybe even, I don't know, put down a, uh, a spore colony, something uh, for detection. It looks like he's bringing up his, uh, a drone uh, from another location. Not, he is going to plant a drone there for a creep colony. I thought he was going to plant that drone he's bringing in. Uh, and wow, uh, <laughs> did manage to take down that gas. That's going to delay uh, Nani somewhat, especially because, and two more gateways being plopped down in the meantime. That forge, it looks like uh, observers on the way. Getting quantum singularity now, that's a little bit late for that, in my opinion. Uh, but, uh,